You must have heard about respiration which is an important process in all the living organisms. Living organisms respire to get some energy. During breathing we breathe in air which contains oxygen and we breathe out air which is rich in carbon dioxide. In human beings lungs help in this process. So the question comes how different organisms breathe? So today in this video we are going to learn about the breathing mechanism in different organisms first in the list are the insects insects do not breathe the same way that we do they have openings on the sides of the body called spiracles they have a network of air tubes called trachea for the exchange of gases air rich in oxygen enters the body through spiracles into the tracheal tubes from the tracheal tube oxygen diffuses into the body tissue and reaches every cell of the body same way carbon dioxide from the cells goes into the tracheal tubes and moves out from the body through spiracles these air tubes also called trachea is found only in insects not in other animals Most insects can open and close the spiracles. Insects with closed spiracles recycle the oxygen in the trachea and are able to survive without constant breathing. Next we have earthworms. They don't have any special organ for breathing. So, they breathe through their skin. Their skin is moist and slimy. Air dissolves on the mucus of their skin. So, they must stay moist to breathe. The oxygen rich blood moves through the skin and enters the blood stream of the earthworm. Same way carbon dioxide moves out of the earthworm through the skin by the process of diffusion. Earthworms have five heart like structures that help to pump the oxygenated blood to their head. Breathing through skin is also a common characteristic in amphibians. One such example is frog. Frogs have a pair of lungs like human beings but still it can breathe through its skin. Frog skin is thin, moist and slimy and it has a lot of blood vessels. Oxygen diffuses into the skin through those blood vessels and the vessels also allow carbon dioxide to escape. Now let's take a look at those organism who lives in water. Respiration fish takes place with the help of gills. In most of the fish, gills are present on either sides of the head. Gills are made up of feathery structure called gill filament, which provides a large area for the exchange of gases. Gills are well supplied with blood vessels. Fish takes in oxygen-rich water through their mouth and pump it over the gills. Blood present in the capillaries takes up the dissolved oxygen and the circulatory system supplies it to different parts of the body and to the cell there it takes up carbon dioxide which is eliminated from the body through the gills like other living organisms plants also respire for their survival they also take in oxygen from the air and give out carbon dioxide This oxygen is used to break down glucose into carbon dioxide and water as in other organisms. In plants, each part can independently takes in oxygen from the air and take out carbon dioxide. The roots of the plants are located underground. Roots take in air from the spaces and air gaps between the soil particles. As a result, oxygen taken up by the root is used to release energy. Microscopic pores are present in leaves called the stomata. Stomata helps in the exchange of gases. Cells in the leaves use up the oxygen taken in by the stomata to break down glucose into water and carbon dioxide. To breathe, the air in a stem diffuses into the stomata and travels through various regions of the cell. The released carbon dioxide is distributed through the stomata at this time. In higher or woodier plants lenticles are known to perform the gaseous exchange So far we have learned that respiration is a vital biological process 
all living organisms need to respire to get energy for their survival hope you enjoyed watching this video today please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching